Thanks, Ron. Well, at Christmas time, old toys meet new toys, and the clutter is everywhere. Amy Payne is here to help us sort of sort through what stays and what goes. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> what it, it just kind of piles up. You get decorations everywhere, stuff yes. everywhere. Most houses look like Christmas exploded. Yes. After Christmas. Yes, mine looks exactly that way. <laughs> <laughs> Couple things to keep in mind before Christmas. If you're still doing last minute shopping, consider gifting experiences instead of stuff. Stuff, usually, if kids have too many toys, if everything is important, nothing is important, right? It's, that's the truth. They get overwhelmed, they, they lose interest in their toys, and they really don't appreciate new things if they have way too many of the old. So it's a great time to teach kids about generosity, giving to others that are less fortunate or even selling a few things online, making a little bit of money off of your old stuff that you don't want anymore. Well, I mean, I have to say, I've seen a lot of young moms and dads in the past two years talking about and having their children be part of the giving story. Yes. And uh, that really is, is impressive to me that more and more young families are doing that. What right. a wonderful tradition to start. And your kids are going to remember like a trip to the zoo or and a vacation or some kind of outing. Spent quality time with you with no phones out is going to be way more important to them than yet another of whatever it is toy that they like. And you can always wrap that and put it under the tree and exactly. make it creative how you give it. Exactly. You still give them something fun and then you all get to make memories together and you take pictures of it and it lasts a whole lifetime versus this little window of time that they enjoy that toy before it gets given away next Christmas. Well, what about so. all that holiday decor? Because oh, I, you know, I'm a Christmas junkie and yes. I have <laughs> tubs and tubs and tubs and tubs. But so. are they organized and labeled? Well, they have been we in can the past. Work on I mean, yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> we can work on that. So after Christmas is the best time to declutter yeah. your Christmas decorations. So before you put everything back in the attic or back away in your totes, you want to really go through it. If anything didn't work, light strands that are broken, ornaments that got cracked, get rid of anything that's broken, ruined, or that you didn't put out this year. If you have stuff that you didn't put out, ask yourself why. Why didn't you put it out? Does it not match your decor? Did you not like it? Is something wrong with it? Those are easy things to part with. And then organize your stuff so that next year you can be very intentional when you pull it out. You're not just digging through chaos. Well, especially if you work a theme every year, if you've got all the red ornaments in one place and all exactly. the green ornaments, that helps too. It well, does. At, at yard sales, at church yard sales, etc., Christmas items go really well. So they it's do. a good thing to donate. Yes, unfortunately they sell better before Christmas than yes. they do in January, but that's okay. It's a good time to look for after Christmas bargains too. If you have gift wrap, you know, try to use what you have. Don't buy more before Christmas. Try to use up what you have and then after Christmas get it for pennies on the dollar. And you can. The deals you are can. out there even I, right now. I always shop for my Christmas wrap, gift wrap, the bags, the tissue, all of that right after Christmas. Well, when we get all those new sweaters, etc., what's your advice about what's already in the closet? In with one, out with one. <laughs> so if you bring something into your closet, let something go. I, I always encourage our clients to have the right number of hangers for the clothes that you own. Get rid of your extra hangers and that way when you bring something in, you're forced to find a place to put it you can get rid of something that you already own. Is there really a rule of thumb besides Christmas gifts about how long it's been since you've worn something? That if you, you haven't worn it in a full calendar year, it's time, time to let it go because if you've gone through all the weather, right Ron, all the weather, all the seasons, if you have not worn that item of clothing, there's a couple of exceptions would be things like memorabilia item, your leather, you know, letter jacket from high school or your wedding dress type of thing, or your funeral suit. If you didn't happen to have a funeral this year, that doesn't mean you need to declutter it. But your regular everyday clothes, pajamas, things like that. This is a great time to get rid of those old ratty socks and underwear. Get some fresh ones. Get Treat some yourself. ratty, get rid of those ratty socks and underwear <laughs> exactly. this Christmas season. Thank you, Amy. Thanks. Always a delight. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us.